Aligning objects in Tinkercad can be tricky. A great example is our insect project. So let's say you're designing an insect and you're going to use three spheres to build it. And we're going to make the little one in the middle kind of oblong like this. And let's do this. Here, I'll spin it a little bit. There we go. And I'm going to line them all up. I'm going to hold down my shift key to make this end equally sized. So now I want to line them up. And they're kind of, see how it's kind of squiggly? So I want everything lined up according to the length and the width. So how am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to draw my red rectangle. And then it opens up two uh, of the tools available. We have our group key, but we also have our alignment key as well as the mirror image key. If you click on the alignment key, it allows you to align the three objects that have been selected across the width, the length, and height as well. So I'm actually going to do, let's see, width. Length would put them all together, so we don't want to do that. But we do want to do, oh, let me redo it here. We do want to align them on the height right there. So there, there's an imaginary line going through this object. And if we look at it from all sides, everything is lined up perfectly. When you're done with that, sometimes the group button is still selected and you can click group to complete your alignment function. All right, so now we have our head, thorax, our, our head, thorax, and abdomen. And what we want to do now is actually make our six legs coming off of the body. So I'm actually going to just draw a pretty simple leg. Let me just do one in scribble just for fun. So I'm going to draw a leg like this. Let's see if I want to put a foot on it. I don't know if it's going to work. Let's try it. Eh, I don't really like that one. Let's trash it. Let's try again. All right, so we'll try one more time. Drag the scribble over and we'll do kind of like a little leg like that. Okay, so then we're going to click done. And don't forget to click your home key to go back to the home view. I would zoom it in a little bit so that you can see it. All right, so we've just created a leg. Don't forget these little arrows down here allow you to spin it. Um, like you're sit, doing a sit and spin. Okay, so I'm actually going to um, take this leg and I want one on each side of my insect's body. I'm going to make it a little bit longer too. So let's pull it out. Oop. I might have to click off of it. There we go. So I'll make it a little bit longer as well. All right, so now this is where it gets kind of tricky. If you want to have a matching, let's just turn it so we can look at it from the top here a little bit more. 